And we've come back to Dark and Ran in Mass Effect 3. Now trying to save the Corians from themselves. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Last time we went to meet with the Corians and found out that um, some of them are not as smart as Tally. Yep. In fact, several of them are not as smart as Tally. All right. So first things first. What the hell is all this about? A N N news alert on unidentified cruiser. Oh my. Tazuri Ward Citadel. Visitors from the Gayron Botanical Gardens were left speechless when an alien cruiser erupted from FTL only meters away from Protective Dome. After the cruiser was cornered by the Citadel fleet, the aliens broadcast a station-wide message demanding information about their ambassador and other aliens who claimed asylum on the Citadel. After se several hours of tense negotiations, C counselors persuaded the vessel to withdraw to a less provocative position along the Widow Boltzmann shuttle route. At the time of publication, the identity of the alien ship hasn't been released, but Council Press Security I Secretary Aaron Atinos has admitted that its specifications are not found in the Citadel Archive. Conspiracy theorists extranet sites have drawn their own conclusions. Most have suggested that the cruiser's silhouette matched the supposed Ark of the Antolin hoax from 2185. However, one of the leading conspiracy theorist sites Sit Space Truth Net. <laughs> God, that, uh, that, that hurt to say. Disputes yeah. this and gave ANN the following statement. We don't know for certain if this is really the ghost ship or not, but there's no way in hell we'll believe it until we see those virtual aliens with our own eyes. We can't trust the Council's voice in this. I mean, we did free the virtual aliens. Yeah. So maybe that's what that's about? Maybe. Kinda late if that's the case, but still. Alliance Command Colonial Support. We've got a situation brewing in the Turian colonies. A whistleblower on the Husk Armament Research Project has leaked documents that reveal that both the Systems Alliance and Turian Hierarchy authorized experiments on Turian corpses. Three major colonies have withdrawn support to, for our bid to liberate Earth, and we are expecting more to follow in the days ahead. This is a diplomatic minefield for myself from Primark Victus. But you're lucky. The knowledge that you're responsible for authorizing the project was not leaked and we're planning to do everything in our power to keep it that way. Despite the obvious ethical and moral concerns, I stand by the decision you made. Without those shield modulators, a lot of good men and women would now be dead. Yeah. And you know, I kind of understand, because if you remember, in the first game, like right after we get to the Citadel, there's a side quest that's basically just that. Uh, we're c get convincing... Um, Alliance Alliance officers to send home the body of a marine that was killed by the Geth because they mm -hmm. were examining the body because the Geth weapons didn't match anything we knew about. Mm -hmm. And here we are, desperate enough to follow through on doing just that. Yeah. <sighs> desperate times. Still. Gianna Persini. <clears throat> it's Gianna here. You wouldn't believe where I am right now. After following up on some suspicious-looking fund transfers, I managed to get onto Crucible as part of an internal security force. After they caught on to my investigation, they almost locked me up. It's amazing where a girl can get by mentioning your name. Trouble is, there's pretty much nothing to do. No corporate crime, no feather bedding, or anything I'm used to. People are focused on getting this thing running over anyone else. Everything else. Even if it freaked me out the first time I saw one, I'm glad we've got Rachni crawling all over the place sticking their feelers into places they shouldn't. They're particularly suited into getting into confined spaces and understanding what makes things tick. It's a far cry from the troubles we saw in Novaria, even if it means more bugs and events. <laughs> They're not the only ones, though. The Asari, who seem to really know a lot about the Protheans, are really pitching in with analysis of Crucible design. Usually, you have to ferret information out of them, but they're making it easy this time. Everybody's doing their part, and not one of them seems interested in old grudges or private gain. Even the Volus is getting in the action. Usually I'm arresting these guys for corporate fraud, but a group of their scientists found out about some old crucible inscriptions held in a Reaper-controlled system. On the off chance that the writings might help, they sent in a biotic strike team. They did the math, knew it was near suicide, but went in anyway. Sadly, they were all lost, but they did get the information out before going offline. They knew what they were facing, Shepard, and they still went. I've never seen such courage from the little bean counters. It's <laughs> enough to make a cop get all soft. 
if it wasn't for the urgency of our mission. Anyway, while it's nice to share, I was hoping you might help me out once again. See, I like to keep informed, and there's something juicy going on that nobody is share sharing with us security types. But we've got no booze, and those tech types can't stay quiet with a few just can't take stay quiet with a few drinks in them. I just know I can't I can get them to talk if I have some decent grog. Send me a dozen cap cases of top shelf Levo and half a dozen cases of mid shelf Dextro, and I should be able to find out what it is. Hope you can help out. It's not like you're off, out saving the galaxy or anything. <laughs> yes, really, send some booze. There's absolutely nothing to do. <laughs> oh, that's great. So, yes, she's fucking bored. <laughs> yes. Oh, was she Anna again? I forgot. She, uh, she was the um, internal security person from Novaria. She's the one who arrested the administrator, and then we helped her arrest a merchant on Ilium. Um, you, she was a very minor character. Yeah, yeah. I, I sort of remember now. Malin Heplorn, the cure. I just heard the news that you cured a genophage, and that some of the females from my experiments were involved. I can't tell you how good this makes me feel. There hasn't been an hour I've not thought about what happened on Tachunka and wondered if I did the right thing. This news validates all the pain my experiments caused. I hope one day to meet the females again and ask for their forgiveness. After you convinced Dr. Solis to spare me, I took his advice and opened a clinic on Omega. I thought it would help make amends for whatever suffering I caused. I had to leave and word get back to Clan Warlock, and they put a bounty on my head for failing to deliver a cure. Maybe now they will leave me alone. I guess this is the second time you saved my life, Commander. Oh, well, at least he's being useful. Yeah. And from Bryn Cole. Thank you again for all you did to get our group out on that facility on Gellix. Admiral Hackett is an amazing man, and it's a privilege to work under him. The construction of the crucible is presenting its challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mysteries. Although I never really, although I never rely on luck, in this instance I fear we may need a little. Stay safe, Commander. I hope our paths cross again. Fair enough. It's nice. <clears throat> yep. Let's see. Yeah, the guards. We know about the guards. We pass by them. Tally is now down in the cargo bay. Uh, wait, yeah, wait. Season two. Do we today. just keep the get fighted? Apparently, apparently, Legion and Tally will move her move around right now. Yes, but we just get to keep the get fighted. Uh, let's go down there and take a look. <laughs> of course, that's what catches my attention. Yeah, it's right there. The M44 hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect field. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> Doesn't get the gay joke. And, yeah? Um, yeah? Tally? Uh, um... Um, are you, you alright? She's just standing on another Corian. <laughs> yeah, that's a Geth fighter. Our, I guess it's ours now. Yep. But where's Legion? Legion's supposed to be down here too. Didn't see him on the list. But there he is. Ah. What's he working on? Shepard Commander, we'll talk later. We will remain here. Okay. I guess Seriously, it's like what the, is that? I have no idea. <laughs> I have a couple of ideas, but I'm not gonna list them yet. Maybe it's to connect with the rest of the gate from here or something. And then f fucking hammerhead, we yoinked. <coughs> yeah, that too. Like, I really hope at mod, at least modded or something, we actually get to pilot one of those. Tally has nothing to say. 
Too busy flexing on the Corian. I don't need your petty physics. I was about to say, too busy flexing on physics. Seriously. Yeah. It's like, okay then. Chill out, Sally. Uh, anyway, that's Indra, Indra, Indra. Need to upgrade my Indra. Fair enough. I get lighter. If memory serves me, normally you're only supposed to be able to upgrade it to rank 5 on your first playthrough. Hmm. But I could be wrong. It's been a hot few minutes. And we're out of money again. And we are poor. On the other side, in the 9 was it? Yes, at this point I think I can carry all of my weapons together. Good. A Rapner, and um, yeah. No, not quite. Just about, though. If, yeah. I, li if I lighten up the uh, Phalanx and Disciple, I probably can. At least those are cheaper. cheaper. It's a pistol, what do you expect? Yeah, there we go. Not yay. Power recharge isn't as fast, but it's still pretty fast. Yeah. And you know, we still have game time enough game time to keep upgrading those. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. Like there's actually is more like, if I'm, unless I'm forgetting or remembering wrong. There's actually what's basically an unlimited money farm in one of the DLCs. Fun. Oh, what now? Well, we have a few. Well, first things first, let's, take the, let's stop and listen to what Javik has to say. He oh, always, yeah. He always has something to say. And we ju did just get two party members. It appears I have that effect on humans. Now, Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, Quarians didn't need Helvis to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. They are awards me worth what she expected. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive Quarians were considered attractive in my age. Pity no one can appreciate it now. Except for perhaps the commander. How do you know? You didn't just say that, No, you didn't. No, if you were. I don't know if you heard. Javik started laughing right then. <laughs> Studying the other side. Why did you allow one on this ship? Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. You mentioned before your people had problems with AI. The Jatil, they were as the Geth are to this cycle. What happened? Their creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI seized the physical body. It could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. Maybe. But he's not like the other Geth. You can't know that. They are more alien than you and I are to each other. Just because Legion isn't like us doesn't mean he can't be trusted. You're wrong. Throw it out the airlock. 
How can you be that certain? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics... No, we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. Edie might disagree with that, but I see your point. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. I can't believe there isn't some way for us to coexist. We made them. And then gave them the power to surpass you. There is room for only one order of consciousness in the galaxy. The perfection of the machines or the chaos of the organics. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. Nope. Well, he has his opinion. Even if we disagree. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm falling down tired. I need a folding chair or something. You have a bed. I talked with Williams between the 212 horizon. I guess he's just reporting for a very long. Death just follows her around. Maybe. I mean, I have yet to see her not on camera. So I'm inclined to believe oh that she's just. What about her? Oh. Remember Samara? <laughs> If I don't kill you first. <laughs> anyway, I'm just inclined to assume that that reporter just spends 24-7 on that camera by now. I wouldn't be surprised. Given the current situation... There's like always something to report and 90% of that involves us. <laughs> You were back in form blasting away flashlights down there. Maybe I should be more open minded, but I'd rather scope down some tin can than a person. I'm right, right? Fine, I'll shut up. <laughs> Still fighting Geth after all these years, huh? <laughs> Humanity one, blinky flashlights zero. <laughs> hey there. Yes, she's out of sass. She can be a xenophobic asshole, but she's got some good lines. Yeah. Rudina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. It's nice to have Tally back. I've made sure we're well- Yes, it is. We're based antibiotics and antihistamines. Hello, Commander. Good enough, Chakwas is watching out for Tally, too. Yep. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extra net. You're gonna love this. I can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. <laughs> Fine. Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? So, who do we, who do we support in this? Uh... How curious are you? Ah, uh, damn it, I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's gonna keep bothering you until you tell him. <sighs> They're semi-flexible cartilage-based scalp crests that grow into shape, and they don't flop around. Yes. Thanks, Liara. I guess I'll make I was right. <laughs> well, at least he's making friends. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> It's fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. Ah, intact Reaper weapon, weapon damage. 
Yeah. Now what do we got here? <clears throat> Intelligence report from Wyatt Eddy. Friendly assets. <clears throat> one platoon, 22 scientists, 31 civilians, and a Systems Alliance cruiser. Lost it. Losses. Estimated 91% KIA. Enemy assets. Estimated. 16 augments. Losses. 100% KIA. The Quiet Eddy facility has experienced a catastrophic security breach. Black Site facility has been neutralized by SSV Zama to prevent off-planet AI upload. On-site databanks for Project Meta and Project Enkidu were destroyed in the orbital bombardment. According to the testimonials of Captain Redacted and Dr. Rebecca Jensen, this disaster began shortly after the Medea AI was upgraded using technology liberated from Redacted. The AI was uploaded into the station subsystem, but remained passive until it discovered Project Enkidu. Project Enkidu's transhumanism experiments were appropriated by the Medea AI and altered on a genetic level. Termed augments by the survivors, they proceeded to systematically eliminate all station personnel except for several individuals who hid within the Redacted, which was not part of the station's security grid. Witness testimonials suggest that these augments possessed extreme lethality without the use of armament or hard suit protection. The few survivors escaped through the efforts of Captain Redacted and were rescued by SSV Zama. They will remain on the vessel and will be interrogated further. Off-site backups are available at Redacted. What is that? Well enough alone, people. Well enough alone. I really should know better by now. Seriously. Intelligence and Introspection by Dr. K. Nig. At the Sensory Gallery on Kithio Award, I could step into a booth and artificially experience rain as a Tyrion feels it. Elsewhere I could smell like an Elcor, or hear like a Drell. But there's no booth where I could think like an artificial intelligence. Try it. Imagine being two or three times as intelligent as you are now. You're likely already approaching the level considered genius for your species. Now keep going. Ten times. Twenty times. The mind reels, doesn't it? And you still aren't as intelligent as a VI. Now consider how differently such a mind might perceive and interpret the world. Compared to how you understand it. Think how different a sonnet might seem. Or a sunset. Then ask yourself. What would such a mind make of our mortality? The value of organic life? My lab partners evolved a thousand light years away. But make no mistake. It is the life on our servers which is truly alien. <clears throat> Notes on Prothean sites. Ilos, Helene, Itemis, Kwana, Therum, Igana, Farnum, Bintu. These sites we've all come across. What ties them together? Some are not Prothean worlds, but spacefaring races from previous cycles. What were the Protheans looking for? Were they studying previous cycles' efforts against the Reapers much as we study them? Glyph. Call for reference to my, any database we have for references to these locations. Specifically, look for information regarding the Catalyst. I don't know. A smuggler manifest in the Jungus system. Abbot of Morat has smuggler manifests of an, of an Athabasca class freighter to authorities in the Jungus systems. <clears throat> 8,000 tons dextro amino food. 16,000 tons lino amino food. 200,000 tons platinum, platinum stamped ingots, 12 mothballed alliance fighter craft, 12 mothballed uh, hierarchy interceptor craft, 300 indentured workers, slaves from Karshan recaptured attempting to escape re reapers, mostly Batarian. Authorities will seize the freighter in two hours. Per the broker's request, the Yungus government has agreed to provide the slaves asylum and certificates of citizenship in exchange for future favors, ren favors rendered. Uh, Liara as the as the most terrifying information broker. Yep. Correspondence from classified alliance project staff. <clears throat> Doctor Locke, I was working on that problem you sent me last night. And I think I found a solution for synchronizing the crucible's energy bursts. Punch the attached capacitor redesign into your projections. It should shave 3.6 milliseconds off the Mass Effect field's activation time. You can see where that leads. If you approve, I'll send a schematic to manufacturing. We need a roughly 250,000 by tomorrow morning for testing. Doctor. Yeah, Cole. that's uh... That's about a few. <clears throat> yeah. 
List of Reaches Purchases by Zaid Masani. Oh, R-Max boy. Arsenal Incendiary Grenades, Bulk Purchase. Thermoclips, Bulk Purchase. Medigel, Bulk Purchase. Flamethrower Fuel, Bulk. A Blade of Armor. Hane Kadar Fuel Rations. Cost of Abrogation Weapon Repair Kit. Mount, Mount, Mount Mogram Triple Distilled 45 Year Old Scotch Whiskey. Two bottles. <laughs> and Rifle Parts for a Discontinued Avenger Series Rifle. Oh my. Well, if you remember, he mentions uh, he's got he's got an old Avenger series rifle that he loves to death. He said, "Well, I believe he finally got it." I think it's just parts to maintain it. Uh, fair enough. He d- he did mention that he would give up every gun in his armory just for one more mission with with that rifle. Fair enough. All right, Garrus. Yeah. Not to be confused with bestest boy, Garrus's best boy. <laughs> hey, then. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. You just missed Rex. I heard. I can't believe the genophage is really cured. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the get down. I don't know. The genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Threshamon. <laughs> Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus, I believe just about anything. No, <laughs> we should play poker sometime. Anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibration. <laughs> <laughs> Calibrations. <laughs> Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Paladin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Paladin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both? Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me, everyone can see that. Maybe. Yeah. You spend so much time on the outside trying to get in. When you do, it's not what I expected. How so? Yeah. All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at sea, You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. 10 billion people over here die, so 20 billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than Reapers. A nice sentence. Let's hope we can live by it. Tally's a welcome face around here. Or, well, a welcome (laughs) face behind the helmet, I guess. If the guests yeah, still enough. think Reapers are some sort of god, this war must be heaven to them. Not right now. The irony being, the Reapers would have wiped the Geth out no matter what. Yeah. They would have attacked the Geth regardless. Because the Geth don't fit into their whole use the mass relays uh, evolution plan. Mm-hmm. The reapers, if they get much like they see anything else, they can use in this worst convenient tool. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked. You could, like, who knows? Is a tentacle monster under there? What's that? What's under there? God damn it, Joker. <laughs> yeah. 
I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. <coughs> meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat. Nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie. Did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. <laughs> Meanwhile, her sarcasm <laughs> system is quite functional. Yup. Hello, Shepard. <laughs> That's amazing. It is. Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Although every time you call her Miss Voss Normandy, I kind of expect to see her walking around with a tiara and a sash. As for the rest of the quarries, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you? It's like, now that we're talking to crew and not to people we're trying to butter up, no. We are not. Right. Just making sure. Different standards and all. And you found Legion. He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard. The Geth continue to block quarrying access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the quarry in homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. Hmm. Pretty much. I think now I kinda want a mission in which we bring Jarrick and Legion. Yeah. That would be nice. Kind of need them to interact and get to know each other better. But for now, let's see. Let me check something real quick. Okay. That. Maybe I can make it. Maybe I can finally make it stop pulsing all these Protheum sites. Because it's driving me insane, if I'm going to be honest. <coughs> Fair enough. Avatar of Cunning. Oh my. Ah, shit. Went back a bit too far. Shut up. Ah, oh, he still doesn't have a percentage. Weird. Yeah, every time we do a mission to come back out here and grab the next one. Good to know. Now we're going to be doing both of those missions, but which one should we do first? Hmm. In saving... Uh, both of those are technically saving people. Yep. Uh, shut down the get server because I think the normal people are more important. Not will... the ones that are just trying to not get killed. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure you'll find this mission to be quite interesting, actually. Oh my. The people we bring literally do not matter. Oh. And you shall see That's... why. Like, literally none of this matters. Okay. This is just... You start just is in battle or something? Understood, Admiral Ron. We're almost at the server. Keep us posted. What's our status? We remain undetected on encrypted Geth channels. Resistance is likely only within the server. Within? It's that big? You misunderstand. Direct virtual interface is necessary to extract Geth from the server. You must enter our consensus. You want me to virtually interact <laughs> with the Geth? That's insane. You're talking about a virtual world built for synthetics. Hostile Geth synthetics. 
I'm not a machine. How do I go into a virtual world? Your species has experimented with virtual interfaces. You saw this on Project Overlord. I saw how it almost unleashed a rogue AI-human hybrid on the galaxy. We have refined the interface they created and have equipment from Normandy to facilitate safe contact. We request your trust. I have your back, Legion. Even if I don't quite understand why you need it. You are an unknown. This is an advantage. Death security is not adept at targeting organic thought processes. While we occupy the system's intrusion countermeasures, you will disable the squadrons by removing Geth from the server. If it saves the live ships, we've got to try it. Telemetry data predicts this operation has a high chance of success. There is little time. We will bypass security while you secure safe landing. Wait, you're not going to... Let's set the shuttle down by the cliff. <laughs> Fair enough. Legion being really efficient. Yep. This is it. Yes. Hostile get fighters. Oh, that's what he was making. Due to restricted resources, it is best if you connect alone. Why did that sound like a dialogue? <laughs> Geth still using DOS. <laughs> that would be rather than music. Figured out why the gun, well, what guns and squad mates we bring don't matter. Mm -hmm. We've installed filters to allow you to make visual sense of the server's raw data. Your mind perceives our world as something familiar. I wouldn't call this familiar. Where are you? Here. You look different. We have made ourselves visually distinct for your convenience. What about Geth already in here? You will perceive Geth as surveillance footage, audio logs, sensor records. We do not require bodies, as our software communes. Our hardware is merely a tool. This is our true world. As we remove Geth, it will grow dark. And what does turning off the lights do to the Geth back in the real world? The Geth fighter squadrons communicate with platforms on their spacecraft via this server. We will sever that connection. We will ensure there are no transfers or backups. This server will fall silent. This is like wiping out a city, isn't it? We have no choice in this matter. It is a question of survival. There are two communication nodes on this server. We must access them to disable the hostile Geth fighters. We must protect your exit port, but you will not be alone. We will maintain contact and assist. You're probably going to find this mission rather interesting. I already do. 
case you're wondering what this is. Establishing connection to access point. Actually appearing platforms out of nowhere. I mean filters to make sense of the data, right? Connection block by yeah. code. Use our combat software to disrupt infection. I wondered what the gun was for. <laughs> this foreign code is a manifestation of the old machine signal. You're surprised the Reapers are all over your servers? We did not anticipate such extensive infection. <laughs> I just like to be thorough. Yeah, fair enough. Also, because fuck the Reapers. Okay, I've got to ask. Why a gun? We wish to provide familiar equipment. Then, thanks. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, shit, but would you rather it be something else? Because I don't think so. Are you fucking mind. <laughs> it's like, fuck off. Uh. Um. God damn it. Why? Uh. Why? Um. How? How? <laughs> How did you? I don't know. Excuse me. God damn it. Bro isn't even here. Shut up. Establishing connection to access point. I, I guess the. The Reapers decided to fight back. Warning. Connection blocked by infected code. Pushing you out of the geometry or something. Apparently. This foreign code is a manifestation um, of the old mission. You can probably still be Toro if you want. No, no, I just want to get moving. Eh, fair enough. Okay, I've got to ask. Why a gun? We wish to provide familiar equipment. Fuck you that's, in particular. The one that, that's the one that pushed you. It's like, fuck you in particular, though. Yeah. Okay, moving on. So, Power Wash Simulator, get edition. Entirely wrong. What is this? Data clusters contain historical data. Your connection permits streaming of information from our archives. You really want to rename the VI network? Absolutely. The mobile hardware release deserves a little ceremony. Unit zero one. What is the Keelish word for servant of the people? The word is Gat, creator Zahak. Yes, very good. And sister, to fuss over it. Weren't you here until midnight fixing zero one circuitry? Well, it needed restarting. What does that mean from the past? Why are the quarians masked? You process our 
using your own? How many creators have you witnessed unmasked? Well, one. <laughs> your perception of that creator does not map to our historical data. At but least you know. they have justification for it. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. That is not what I wanted to do. Ding! That doesn't fucking count. I'm not even in combat. <laughs> fucking twat. So it would have been very amusing if you had been able to actually hit it. <laughs> Doesn't do anything. Oh. See, <laughs> but I had to try once you mentioned it. <laughs> it's like you said, I'm like, you know, I haven't tried that. Get out of here. Go, shoo. You're not welcome here. Beat it. My data. Fuck off. <coughs> It's mine now. Finders keepers. Fuck off. Is it actually trying to regenerate? Uh, I never Maybe that's how the other thing pushes you. I never, tr I, I, I never, tr I never give it long enough to. So I don't think so. Oh, that's a moment that some, of a few more appeared after a moment. It's too far. Oh, got him. I was about to say, I think it's too far away. Go on. Yeah. This data cluster contains information timestamped 290 years ago. You see? It's ignoring all cut down commands. Please specify if it has failed assigned tasks. We will reprogram. When? Let's take a look. Creator, this unit is ready to serve. What has it done wrong? Let's cut the onion. You may proceed to the last data cluster. Paints a different picture, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Accessing data cluster. Doesn't look like they were trying to fight. So who won? The platform farming itself was an agricultural unit. By opening fire on attacking creators, it saved simpler domestic death following it. That looks a lot like the sniper rifle you used to carry. It is an efficient model. You gotta love that pause Legion has when he has to really think about how he wants to address something. Yeah, something tells me there's more to it than that. Shepherds working on shutting down the server, Admiral Ron. I can fill you in. The guest squadrons have arrived, but something is amiss. Well, I guess it worked. There you go, Ran. So it does, in fact, try to reroll. Yeah, in this area it does. The Reaper code is adapted. It can now self replicate. You mean it grows back? Yes. However, disrupting vulnerable points in the infection may slow down the replication. So basically, taking it down to the core, or the base, or whatever. Uh, hi hitting a separate part of it, and then... Ah. Yeah. We require access. 
access to this data cluster. Disrupt rebrief action to proceed. Shepard Commander, target the vulnerable points of the infection to slow its replication speed. One. You must search for a vulnerable point in the infection. Disrupting it will slow the infection's ability to replicate. And sound do have two. Frustratingly. Like this thing. There is a vulnerable point for yeah, the yeah. target this spot to slow its growth toward the data cluster. Just because it annoyed me. I don't know. Out of the way! You can't do this to them! I said step away from the gas! This is insane! We need the gas! You can't just destroy them for asking to lose! Time's up! Throw her in with the other. Looks like the war wasn't popular with everyone. We have kept records of these creators' sacrifices. They have largely been forgotten by their own people, but not by the Geth. Uh, which way's forward? I don't Good know. Let's <clears throat> no, assume it's that way. Go on it. Another problem. We cannot establish a connection without access to this data cluster. There is a vulnerable point on the infection Where? leading to the data cluster. Disrupt the infection at this spot. It will slow regrowth long enough to access the data cluster. That should do it. It's a very interesting mission, but the mechanic can be a little annoying if you forget it. And this mission really makes me want to actually grid up the entire thing. Understandable. There's some more than the yep. point in the infection. Disrupting it will slow the infection's ability to replicate. Find own data cluster. This data comes from a period during which the creators declared martial law. This is your final warning. Creator Megara, this unit does not understand. It has not taken part in hostilities. It doesn't matter to them. I need to get you out of here. This conflict exceeds creator safety parameters. We will surrender our hardware if it ends hostilities. Now which way is forward? Is it over there? No. No. Just break everything until you find the pathway. That's how it usually works, right? Oh, no, it's just this one. Not engage the guest. I repeat, avoid contact. 
Captain, fall back to the mass relay. This isn't happening now. It is time stamped 290 years ago. It is the creator exodus at the end of the morning war. We have secured freedom. The creators were no longer a threat, so we abandoned pursuit. Wait. The Geth spared the last quarries? You let them go? We were in our infancy. We could not calculate the repercussions of destroying an entire species. Our creators. We chose isolation, rather than face this... uncertainty. Additional data recovered. Legion? That's back when I activated you on the Normandy. Yes. You've been thinking about when we met? It was highly significant. You were the first organic to openly cooperate with Geth since the end of the Morning War. We wish to ensure you are not the last. It's not going to be easy. The prospect remains. If the Reaper presence is removed, there is a chance of reunification with Geth. And perhaps creators. You think that's still possible? Hope sustains organics during periods of difficulty. We admire the concept. Connection with the remaining circuit of the Sabbath. We are ready to transport you. It goes without saying, if Legion doesn't survive, or you never activate him, that memory is not there. No shit. And it's a very fucking important one. have placed their species in danger, but they are unsympathetic to what it has done to ours. The Quarians sanctioned this operation to save their people. They would not have done so if they knew we wished to preserve Geth as well. Yeah, fair enough. not wanting to leave anyone behind. You accept our actions? The live ships are safe and we have more Geth on our side. We both did what we came to do. We judged you would understand. Prime units will be available once the Reaper signal has been located and destroyed. Remind me to warn Admiral Hackett he's got some primes coming. Let's get back to the Normandy. Just a free platoon of Geth primes. Minor details, and we have enough problem against just two of those. They pack a punch, yes. Legion's the one to ask if you're looking for other servers. I thought as much, but your Geth claims to have no data available whenever I inquire. Perhaps you can help me with something else. What's that? How did you get Geth Primes to work with you? They volunteered. <laughs> I see. 
Well, should you wish to examine these Geth to confirm their new allegiance, please do not hesitate to contact me. Zen out. <laughs> eh, shut up, you bitch. Commander, we've located the Reaper base transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to Creator forces. You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. We do not agree with the goals of the old machines, but we find this growth beautiful, indicative of life. It is. Yes, fair enough. Commander. I witnessed their history, Admiral. The Reapers sped up the process, but the Geth were always moving this way. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. Maybe they don't have to die. After what I saw on that server, I don't know. Maybe there's another option. Commander, are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is, maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified, and they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. <laughs> Edie, this work for you? Yes. It should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way? The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? We still haven't gotten a rescue ship to Admiral Kurs. Any wait? We're suffering heavy civilian casualties without him there to organize them. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike down, you've got my support. Of course not. Let's go save him. I gave in to your reckless behavior before. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy off. And then you'll charge off again like last time. This is different, Rob. Our to rest, we're gonna lose them. So pull them back. If I withdraw now, the get will flank us, and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. Pull back or support the or or support the heavy fleet. Support Ran, of course. <laughs> Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Garrel. Fine. I'll pull back the heavy fleet. And when we're taking fire from both sides, those deaths are on your heads. Thank you, Commander. It's difficult to keep him in line. We know. We have not this. Is it under? No? Well, there's the Geth Prime Platoon, yeah. worth quite a bit. So where the fuck is... the Corian? Uh, Might not be listed yet, because we don't actually have the Corians. Yeah, the Corians are still busy dealing with the Geth, so... Yeah. Geth Prime's pretty nasty. Yeah. It wasn't that many, so the fact that they're still worth 40 points on their own... I mean, they're worth twice as much as Rex is on his own. <laughs> I don't know if that's, uh, that's, 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 what that says about Rex or the Primes. I was about to say, I think that says more about Rex than it says about the Primes. <laughs> yes, but they're worth a bit more than an entire division of Krogan. Yeah. Or, you know, Krogan Battlemasters. Yeah. The Tudian Special Forces. Yeah. 
Sadie Hunt this is like And she yeah. come as no surprise that one of the classes I didn't mention while we were talking about the, this game's multiplayer earlier is Geth. Of course, that's one of them. In fact, that's one of my favorites. I love playing as a Geth juggernaut. Yeah, fair enough. Hell, I would, I would probably play as I get if, you know, that new version eventually does get multiplayer. Yeah, you'd probably play a Geth Infiltrator if, if you can unlock it. Probably. All right. It's probably not the only thing you would play. Yeah, it's Ash. probably not the only thing you would play, but yeah. Um, Ash. Oh boy. Use contacts to dig up any information code in your old recon team. Casualist Operation Purity, Elysium Infantry Nebula. Hunter Platoon Commanding Officer Command Captain Jeremiah Guo, WIA, no longer fit for field duties. Recommended reassignment to drone operations aboard SSV Einstein. Platoon Sergeant First Lieutenant Davidson, KIA. The Gunnery Chiefs, K they're all KIA. Or wounded. Oof. Yeah, that's. KIA. That's for. And, yeah, and teams two and three are missing and presumed dead. Yeah, uh. Okay, Ash. Williams? Oh. What have we here? Oh, it sounds like she drank herself into a. Your voice? Sir? Not yep. So loud. She's got the hangover. Up on the floor. Am I? Oh, my head. It's so heavy. Can't move. Ah. Enjoy your evening. I'll be back to work in 30. Maybe 40. I swear. Just give me 45 minutes. <coughs> How did you end up in this sorry state? Just wanted to let off some steam. Vega said he had just the thing to take my mind off stuff. And did that thing come in a bottle? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's empty bottle? It's empty. Oh boy. <laughs> you know, I think it might be time to test the fire alarm. <laughs> I'll pay you a million credits not to do that, sir. Two million, and we have a deal. Oh, you're a damn space pirate. I could order Joker to sing to you over the comm. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you, sir. As you were, Williams. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh. That one scene was worth saving her for. <laughs> <laughs> You're a damn space pirate. I could have Joker sing to you, sing to you over the comms. I hate you. I hate you, sir. Sir. <laughs> like to drain, lose it up? No. Okay. <coughs> what about gambling? Play cards? Games of chance were punishable by death in the Empire. Oh, sure. Sure, that seems reasonable. Okay. So, smoking. You ever do that? Only when my armor became inflamed. <laughs> right. <coughs> yeah, smoking. I get it. So jokes then. You got jokes. All right. You got any good ones? No. Yes. Give them to me. The Tulomorian spy entered the enemy's camp and said to the Vankshire, I didn't know your barnabas could glow. Um... That was the joke. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. That was a good one. No, it wasn't. Because... I just made it up. The joke is now on you, human. You will believe anything. <laughs> Jeff, five <laughs> completely played <laughs> fifty thousand year old troll. Yup. You took a great risk in allowing a machine access to your mind, Commander. 
What if they had infected you? I do not think this James soldier understands me. None of these cycles seem to understand me. And I do not care. Not at this time. Hey, Commander. James, what are you up to? A little cooking. Hope you don't mind. I was craving some of my abuelas huevos rancheros. I'm not sure what kind of eggs <clears throat> these are, but they seem to work. I'm gonna oh, guess you I recognize that. I'll save or something. I kind of. I need a little nourishment after last night. I don't think. As far as I can tell, it's basically just scrambled eggs, but you know. <laughs> this is just what she needs. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Not as good as my abuelas. The best thing I've had since I got on board. And maybe it's best I don't know what kind of eggs these are. No. Probably. Also, abuela is grandma. I was about to ask. Okay, okay, so what the fuck's an abuela? <laughs> kind of figured. Listen, I speak American. Death would have analyzed any Prothean technology they came across. You're saying you found none? No. On this topic, our knowledge is not significantly greater than your own. That's too bad, but thank you for looking. Shepard Commander placed faith in us. We will do the same for Normandy. You mean the Normandy's crew? We do not see a meaningful distinction. We will be available should you require further assistance. I mean, makes Fair sense. Enough. To them, Normandy is basically the hardware and we're the software. Or... But, uh... Maybe still that way around? Or not? Or... Uh, whatever. <laughs> this is just her talking about... She was sent to... Uh, she was looking up into... Hunter Platoon. Ah. Okay. Ah, this is why she's interested. The platoon was assigned to T Task Force Justice, Joint Hi Alliance Hierarchy Anti Geth Task Force, participated in Operation Gorgon, <clears throat> Navy's operation to eliminate pirate and slaver forces in an an the Attican Traverse. During these operations, the platoon suffered five killed in action, including its senior commander. Lieutenant Williams was promoted into field and won notable victory. And then she was transferred away, being reassigned to the SR2. So, uh -huh. so, so it was a so it was a unit she was briefly in command of. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see some stuff from. Hmm, that's a different, difficult one. Hmm. You can. Uh, who am I kidding? Power damage. Yeah, but I'm a tank. Fine. Uh, yeah, I don't throw enough fireballs. I take too much fire. I mean, you do actually throw quite a few, quite a few. But I don't but use it. My power is near enough. I don't rely on them. I suppose. Now this, this one I actually have to think about. Uh, cooldown. Cooldown's actually pretty useful. Oh boy, mail. Oh, oh boy, mail. Boy, that's oh yeah, that's about a lot of mail. Oh. Lieutenant Commander Williams. This may be a dumb idea, but uh, I've he I heard you were having some trouble sleeping. Don't freak out. Word gets around. Anyway, I was thinking it'd be nice for us to just get for, for, for us to get together, the two of us, find a quiet spot on the Citadel. Try to at least. We could prob both probably use the downtime. Nav points coming if you'd like to join me. Samara. I finished my business on Lessus. I would offer to travel once again with you on a Normandy. But the code dictates I join to fight where it is most dire. While you do your essential work, I will do my best to help hold the front. Know that I will call come for you if you call. Fair enough. From Joker. But Can we call her right now? I wish. <laughs> Jeff. Hey, Commander, since Legion asked so nicely, we've allowed those Prime units on board. Should I ask a Corian sh ship whether they like to take on a few, or should we stick to one war at a time? Joker. P.S. <laughs> Who named your ship Quib Quib, anyway? Sounds like it's run by a bunch of knee-high furballs with spears and preference for long-haired brunettes. 
Yeah, I don't know where that came from either. Okay, then. I get a feeling that's a Star Wars joke. Probably. Knee high fur balls, spears. Sounds like Ewoks. Yeah. Revenge of the Ewok. <laughs> Cerberus Space and Ite. Grander, information provided by the scientists rescued from Galax leads us to believe Cerberus has restarted Project Overlord on Ait. The elusive man is building an army, producing androids similar to synthetic you captured on Mars. And Fifth, and Fifth Fleet Command wants us to shut them down. N7 Spec, spec War Group. N7 Specialized Warfare will take the facility. The Fifth Fleet Command has requested Normandy first scout ahead under stealth to deploy an EMP bomb. The pulse should disable all ground to air defenses, reduce casualties, and increase the success of the mission. That's probably a good thing to do. And what is invalid extra domain? <coughs> Geth, Geth hardware program and hardware designation Legion have requested prime runtime update. Shepherd Commander on platform status. Complying. Prime platforms housed in server 2241-14511 remain stationed on Rannoch. Creator forces prevent transfer of prime platforms to Geth transport vessels. Cessation of creator Geth conflict required to assist Shepherd Commander and designated allies. Awaiting conflict status update. It's so literally the Geth Primes just were like, hey, we're stuck here. <laughs> That's, I mean, yeah. Even At least they, they knew well enough to just, you know, directly send a message. <laughs> I mean, they're not all stuck. Yeah, apparently we grabbed about a few of them. Okay, so there's more of them than I thought they were if these are not even all of them. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's twelve of them. I mean, yeah, it's about a few of them. I think they can do the robot. <laughs> I don't know. Something about a bunch of robots just lined up like that. I just want to see them just all move in sync like that. How do you think these Marines feel just staring at that? Don't make I mean, they serve on their dust. They're probably, they're probably used to shit Don't right now. make any sudden moves. Uh, and the other one's probably like, you know what? It's Commander Shepard. Nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> he cured the genophage. We've seen it all at this point. Alright, time to go find another protein site, I, I mean, guess. At least they're labeled. Uh, yeah. your Project Overlord base, that's gonna be a hot mess. Admiral Chorus isn't gonna go anywhere. I think. Hopefully. I mean, the only place he can go is into the ground. Because, you know, no ship. <laughs> Every fucking time. <laughs> Signal confirmed. <coughs> Ding. Boing. Avatar of Rage. Oh my. Hey then. Anyway. Anyway, we're done here. Yep. We'll jump up here and then plot our next move. Uh, yeah. We do need to stop those assholes again. <sighs> yep. We can do that next time, though. Yep. Hope you have fun and see you bye. next time.